Hey everyone, welcome to this weekly Sidero Astrology Forecast for the week of January 11th through the 17th of 2021. All right, so extremely busy week, astrologically speaking, this week. We do have a new moon on Tuesday and Wednesday. So we are ending the current lunar month as we approach this early part of the week, and it is good to finalize and complete things from this previous cycle. Nonetheless, there is a fresh new start coming into this week. Uh, lots of aspects taking place, a lot with Jupiter and Uranus. So um, lots of expansion maybe with Jupiter, maybe feeling a bit buoyant, maybe inspired, maybe there's some potentials that we're seeing, but also this energy of uh, wanting to have freedom, wanting to break free in some way and maybe make some changes in our life that is going to speak a little bit more to that true self. With all this kind of expansive and erratic energy with Jupiter and Uranus, uh, we do have a very different energy centered right in the middle of the week around Wednesday. Mars, the planet of our needs and drives, is squaring up to Saturn, the planet of patience and responsibility. So it is a great week to see how it has been good to be patient uh, this last year, how we can continue to do so perhaps, and see if there's any long-term goals or things we do want to build towards that we know will take time, but we can set some intention with and take some initiative with, can make this a very constructive square with Mars and Saturn. All right, so everything else is concentrated around the new moon. The new moon's conjunct Pluto, very empowering kind of energy coming into uh, this new lunar month. And again, that expansive Jupiter, uh, maybe seeing potentials and some of that uh, energy with Uranus, finding healthy ways of finding a little bit more freedom and uh, doing things more important on that uh, true self level. All right, so let's take a look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so we're going to be taking a look at the sky here for this week of January 11th through the 17th, Monday through Sunday. Again, we are using the visible sky called True Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to this channel, definitely check out that link down below for more information because you will notice the signs are different from mainstream astrology. Uh, for example, in this system, we do see in the sky Jupiter and Saturn making their way into Capricorn. However, if you do follow mainstream astrology, you will hear that being um, in Aquarius. So the signs are different. Definitely check out that link down below for more information. All right. So this is quite the busy week astrologically. As you can see here, here's all of the aspects pretty much concentrated all around this early to middle part of the week. <clears throat> but then in a, a very important aspect at the end of the week with Jupiter the planet of expansion, um, squaring up to erratic, but also freeing and um, you know change-based Uranus. So we'll go through this um, one day at a time to break all of this down, but the most important thing is that we are still ending the previous lunar month as we approach the late Tuesday, early Wednesday time period. We're gonna have a new moon right on the cusp between those two days. And so it is a fresh new start this week as we go through this kind of middle part of the week and onwards, but as we do approach that, it is good to finalize and complete things from the previous cycle. And the previous cycle was an eclipse cycle, so it did have very much to do with maybe karmic energy we were resolving, maybe some healing energy since that whole uh, cycle started in healing of fucus. Uh, but now this new beginning will be more of the post-transformation energy and more of the free-spirited energy of Sagittarius, where the new moon will be. But it is going to be conjunct Pluto, so Pluto is a very empowering planet, and it usually signifies new beginnings to things that we can do that we know can empower us, right? And maybe set some new intentions, some new beginnings with self-empowerment. So great to do this, sit with the new moon energy around this early middle part of the week, see what new arises. But I think the main context is how can we expand our horizons with the sun and Venus and Sagittarius, right? See the bigger picture, uh, pay attention to our perspective, right? So much has been changing with the global and personal perspective on things uh, this past year with all this Sagittarius energy. Um, so <clears throat> kind of finalizing in a sense, the energies from last year and seeing what can be taken into this new year in terms of what is possible. What is our potentials? What do we want to see for the future in that sense, both personally and perhaps collectively as well? And uh, realizing that there might need to be some changes, some fears we may have to uh, work through or do things in the face of some fears um, that can be super empowering, super transformative uh, coming into this new lunar month and what you could say is the first new moon of the Gregorian year. 
All right, so um, so that's probably the most important thing in the context of the cycle, right? The ending of the current lunar month and the beginning of the new one. So let's take a look at some of the aspects we have on Monday as we do finish up this current cycle. So we do have Mercury over Jupiter as um, Jupiter's been making his way into Capricorn, so has Mercury. And so Jupiter is the planet of expansion. It's the planet of more of the right side of the brain, uh, rules things like philosophy, spirituality, you know, even a bit of adventurousness. And so Mercury is very different from that. Mercury is more of the practical. So our practical minds with Mercury is getting this expansive Jupiter influence here around Monday, which is great for studying higher things, higher knowledge, and maybe again, seeing some possibilities and potentials. And so with this, uh, there will be a sextile up to Chiron. So as a reminder, there is still some healing energy that can take place. But I think coming out of this, uh, especially as we get into the new lunar month, you know, coming out of this healer or healing sort of uh, past month, um, seeing that we might be feeling a bit rejuvenated, actually, a bit healed, right, a bit transformed in that sense. Usually easy aspects to Chiron do help us feel a bit uh, rejuvenated and transformed as a result of that. So great to use this energy. Think open-minded, you know, have open-mindedness about, um, you know, the things that we do want to cultivate but anything that's more practical in your day-to-day -day life that could involve a bit of that more Jupiterian higher perspective can make it a very constructive early part of the week to do that stuff. And then as we get closer to the new moon, Mercury then will be squaring up to Uranus because of course Jupiter's squaring Uranus. And so in this context, the energy shifts a bit around Tuesday where maybe there's some things that um, you know, we might be thinking about where we're wanting a little bit more freedom uh, in our life, maybe making some changes uh, maybe starting to see things from different perspectives. And so this is really good with this square is to think outside the box. In fact, it can be very constructive for visionary things, things that uh, we do want to maybe, you know, challenge our own thought process with, think outside the box, innovate um, with that intention of being this kind of visionary eccentric, unique, different perspective on things. It can make it extremely constructive. But of course, because it's a square, it can mean some imbalances. So we just want to be conscious of if there are any extremes with wanting to break free, make some sudden changes, maybe you know too much freedom or something like that, too eccentric, too much challenging the status quo, uh, just to be conscious of that so everything's nice and grounded. But again, channeling it into visionary things, even technological things, innovative things, thinking in ways that are different, uh, very constructive there around Tuesday. <clears throat> then we have the new moon, which will be very late Tuesday into Wednesday, as, as I was saying. So great to set some new intentions for the new lunar month, again, specifically around Sagittarius, which is our beliefs. How can we expand our mind? Great month for learning things like higher knowledge, wisdom, spirituality, things like this. But fundamentally, what is our perspective? and um, starting to expand that perspective and transform that perspective as it has already been, but a nice step in the right direction with that nonetheless. But this is also about the time we come to this very different energy from the Jupiter Uranus stuff, where we have Mars, the planet of initiative, squaring up to Saturn. And uh, you know, Mars has been uh, since uh, last weekend, but coming into this week, starting to go into Aries. And so there has been a lot of water energy, a lot of uncertainty about um, you know, what we want to take action towards this second half of 2020, right? For a very long time with Mars and Pisces. But Mars is making his way into Aries. So this is much more comfortable for Mars. But of course, this does add to a lot of fire energy. So I think especially coming out of the new moon, there's going to be a lot of this maybe wanting to take initiative, wanting to thrust forward, uh, pursue our goals, our needs, right? A lot of that fire. But um, it just so happens that we have another square with Saturn while that's taking place. And Saturn is the more restrictive planet, right? Saturn's the side of ourself that wants to see the long term, the patient road, the disciplined road. And so anything that does unite these two, how, these two things, how can we unite our short term goals with our long term goals, right? Our initiative and things we want in our drives, but to also be patient in the process and see the bigger picture. Anything that is uh, on that level, I think is very constructive. This is actually you know, somewhat of a familiar energy with us with the current uh, transits of Mars. So <clears throat> I think any intentions around the long term, the patient, the discipline, 
very constructive. And again, just to be mindful if there is any of that fire energy building up, or if it does feel restricted, we don't want to, you know, kind of be rash or impulsive in any way. We do want to incorporate some of that Saturn. So in other words, if it becomes too much fire, bring in some of the earth, but also if there's too much earth, too much restriction, too much limitation, to maybe set some intention for initiative, right? And starting to take some action towards the long term in that patient and disciplined way that Saturn helps us do that. All right, so that's the uh, Wednesday time period here. We will also have Venus starting to trine Uranus. So Uranus gets a bit of this um, easier energy. And in this context, maybe with relationships or the things we're enjoying in life, could be a good day Wednesday into Thursday for um, enjoying some different things we maybe normally wouldn't enjoy with Venus. Uh, this can also be with relationships, maybe just a bit of freedom there, uh, trying new and different things with uh, relationships. So our values and relationships do get a bit of this exciting, different, unique, unorthodox kind of energy that seems to be in good uh, synergy here. And this is about the time that Uranus goes station direct, which is not a major thing. We don't usually feel this that personally, but it is a shift of starting to incorporate more of this freedom into our life, especially again with Jupiter squaring Uranus at the end of the week. So starting to see uh, moving forward the second half, what are some things that maybe uh, we may need to change, right? So that uh, our lives do reflect more of our true selves. Maybe there's some things we can experiment with. You know, Uranus is that sort of mad scientist energy where we do want to just kind of experiment, throw a bunch of random things together, see what happens, right? And in this way, we do see what it is that we truly want because Uranus is such a deep part of ourself that it's wanting the freedom, but we're not exactly sure and conscious about how to implement it. But once Uranus starts to go direct, which again does take some time, we start to see, okay, maybe these are some of the things that we can incorporate so that our life does reflect more of our true self. And how can we embody more of that true self that does want freedom, does want change, does want to do things that really speak, speak to that excitement. And I think listening to that excitement is great with that long-term perspective. All right, and this is the day that uh, the sun does pass over Pluto, but again, we'll probably be feeling that with the new moon anyways. But if there is anything you do wanna empower yourself with, again, pretty much this whole middle part of the week could be an excellent week for setting new beginnings around transformation, change, self-empowerment um, with this conjunction. All right, and then a bit of a uh, break from a lot of this, a lot of these aspects all concentrated in the early part of the week. And uh, so we'll probably start to feel a little bit more of the moon's placement here around these couple days. And on the uh, 15th and 16th, uh, it will be Aquarius type of energy. So Friday, Saturday, maybe a bit good for, again, some of that Uranus, uh, you know, Uranus uh, rules Aquarius. So freedom change, but also just kind of our visionary side. What is our visions for the future, future hopes and wishes and ideals that maybe we can, uh, again, build towards or strive towards and uh, when it comes to the collective stuff, maybe focused on that, or maybe just a good day for uh, spending time with friends or communities uh, could be great as well, or online as well. All right, and then as we do get closer to Sunday, we do get closer to this Jupiter square Uranus. Again, Jupiter expansion, Uranus, freedom and change. And so this does get quite expanded, right? The freedom and change stuff. So again, with all squares, we do wanna bring that extra level of awareness and consciousness just to make sure it's not gone to any extremes, make sure there's not too much of that Uranus, erratic, imp impulsive, exciting though, energy, but also to make sure that there are potentials that, again, we can build towards that will bring in more freedom and change into our lives. So it speaks more to our true self, right? So uh, great to set intentions around that, be conscious of it, and it can be an extremely constructive uh, week and even going into next week in regards to doing things that uh, we are excited about, uh, that we do feel like will create some changes that are more in tune with our true self and maybe some things that are getting outside of our comfort zone a bit or things we would normally do that, again, is really how change is uh, incorporated, right? Because if we do the same thing, obviously nothing ever changes, so it does require that experimentation and listening to that uh, excitement. All right, everyone. So that is the week in a nutshell. A lot going on. Again, most important thing, though, is the new moon concentrated around this kind of Jupiter Uranus type of energy, some empowering energy with Pluto. And of course, all in the context of just kind of seeing the patient perspective around the middle part of the week. Things do take time. There's still things to be patient with, even though we do have a bit of that fiery energy with Mars in Aries now. All right. So everyone have a fantastic week. Thank you so much for watching. 
be sure to click that like button if you haven't yet. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you all next time for the next forecast. Take care.